today we're going to paint pictures and instead of paint, we're using mud! Ooh! We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to paint with mud? I know! A muddy puddle! <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. Daddy, what are we doing next? Something that's fun. Learn all about concrete in the olden days. <gasps> that sounds a bit boring. This is the history of concrete area. OK, so who wants to learn about concrete? Hmm. Okie dokie. Owing to the current mud situation, I've got a better idea. Who wants to do some puddle jumping? Me, me, me! <laughs> My most favourite thing in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And if we're going to jump in puddles... We must wear our boots. That's right. Are you ready? Yes! yes. Then jump! <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho! My turn! <laughs> Daddy Pig has covered everyone in mud. <laughs> Although I say it myself, that was a good puddle jump. Well done, Daddy Pig. But maybe that's enough mud for one day. Yes, next up is dancing. Oh, good. I love dancing. Dancing in mud. Great. Hooray! Here is Madame Gazelle with her band. Hello! Are you ready to dance? Yes! Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash <laughs> Wow, those dragons are good! Almost like the real thing! Dragons are not real! They are mythical creatures! You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Actually, the correct term is child prodigy. <laughs> Making things was fun. And we've still got lots to see and do tomorrow. Tomorrow? Are we staying here tonight? We certainly are. Yes, I was hoping we could find a hotel nearby, but... I thought camping would be more fun. Yay! Camping! Great. <laughs> This is the camping area. Hello! Hello, Peppa. Are you camping too? We're not camping, we're glamping. What's glamping? It's like camping, but with lots of home comforts. We've got a bathroom with a basin and a bath and a toilet. <laughs> and we've got a living room. And a TV! Wow! wow. Glamping looks great. Daddy! Are we glamping? No, we have our own little tent. Hopefully it's not too difficult to put up. It shouldn't be a problem. After all, I am a qualified structural engineer. Mummy Pig, put the tent on the poles, please. That's it. Easy as pie. Hooray! Are you enjoying the festival? It's brilliant! Yes, and it's lucky it hasn't rained. Too right. When it rains, this field just becomes mud. We like mud. But mud and camping don't go so well together. Ho, ho! It's not going to rain. Night, night, everyone. Night, night. night. Peppa and her family are sleeping in their little tent at the children's festival. Oh dear, it is starting to rain. Digger World! Peppa and George are visiting Digger World. Digger! Digger! <laughs> George likes diggers. I like diggers too. <laughs> and today, you'll both be driving real diggers. Wow! Here is Mr Potato. Welcome to Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. <laughs> this is the Sand Digger ride. Ooh. Pepper and George, jump on board. Mummy and Daddy Pig, you have to pedal. Oh! oh. 
<laughs> now, fill up this big bucket with sand. <laughs> this is fun! Yes, fun! <laughs> Excellent work, children. Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap, and voila! Hooray! Pepper and George have made a big sand castle. Let's go to the next ride. This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack these soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy. Okay, Peppa. <laughs> Pedal faster, Mummy. Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly finished. There. A lovely wall. <sighs> Here comes George with a demolition digger. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, George has knocked down Peppa's wall. George! <laughs> you naughty piggy! <laughs> oh, ho ho! Building things up, then knocking them down! It's all part of the fun at Digger World! <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Oh. oh. Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. Ooh. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. Brrr. Okay, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back. Forward, down, hooray! We've got the dinosaur! Oh. The dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, ho, ho. try again! Oh no! We got a Mr. Potato doll! The Mr. Potato doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep! Oh! But the best news is you have earned your digger badges! You are fully qualified digger drivers! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true! Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive... Stop! It is Mr Bull. What's the matter, Mr Bull? We're building a wall across the road. Digger, digger. <laughs> Mr Bull, can we drive your digger? Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's OK then. Hop aboard! <laughs> I'll drive the digger and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> OK now, push the button. What? This red one? No, the green one! Ah! The digger has knocked over the new wall. Sorry, Mr Bull. <laughs> Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun with diggers. Pepper and George love diggers. Everyone loves diggers. Pepper loves coming to the fate. Here are Pepper's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Hello, I love the score, Fate. Me too. What do you like best? <laughs> the face painting. I like the balloons. I like the bouncy castle the best. I like everything. <laughs> A very good choice, Peppa. See you later, Peppa. See you later. George, what do you like best? Dinosaur. Oh dear. There aren't any dinosaurs at the fate, George. Maybe we can get you a dinosaur balloon. Are you sure they have dinosaur balloons, Daddy Pig? I'm certain of it. <laughs> can George and I get our faces painted first? Of course. 
<laughs> Miss Rabbit has painted Peppa's friends as tigers. There you are, Susie. Now you look like a tiger. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like your face, Susie. Are you a pussycat? No, I'm a tiger. <laughs> Peppa, would you like your face painted? Yes, please. Can I be an elephant? Oh, dear. I don't know how to do elephants. I can do tigers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a tiger, please. There you are, Peppa. Now you're a tiger. <laughs> I'm a tiger. <laughs> George, what would you like to be? Dinosaur. Grr. A dinosaur? Uh, how about a tiger instead? I'm good at tigers. <laughs> I'm a tiger. <coughs> so am I. Meow. <coughs> tigers don't say woof woof. How do you know? Because tigers are big cats. Meow. <coughs> and I'm a cat. Cat D, please can you teach us how to be tigers? OK. Tigers creep very, very slowly and then they jump. <coughs> 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 Tigers like to lick themselves clean. But best of all, when tigers are happy, they purr. Hello, children. My goodness, you're all tigers. And I'm teaching them to be proper tigers. <laughs> what do you little tigers want to do next? Dinosaur! That's right. We have to find George a dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Let's get you all balloons. Hooray! <laughs> Hello, Madam Gazelle. We'd like some balloons, please. Certainly. I've got lots of different ones. Can I have an elephant balloon, please? Here you are, Peppa. Can I have a kangaroo? A lion, please. A monkey, please. A parrot, please. Oh, yes, I've got all those. <laughs> Most important of all, we need a dinosaur balloon for George. Oh, dear. I do not seem to have any dinosaur balloons. Oh. <coughs> Don't worry, George. I've got an idea. Could we have two of the long balloons, please? Watch this, everybody. What is Daddy Pig doing with the balloons? There. Can anyone guess what it is? Is it a kangaroo? <laughs> no. It's a... Dinosaur. That's right. A dinosaur. Daddy Pig has made a balloon dinosaur. Grrr. Dinosaur. Now the bouncy castle. <laughs> Peppa loves bouncing on the bouncy castle. Everyone loves bouncing on the bouncy castle. This is the best school fate ever. <laughs> the carnival. Peppa and her family have come to watch the carnival. Hello. Here are Susie Sheep and Molly Mole. Hello. Have you come to watch the carnival? Yes, I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. With fire-breathing dragons. And magic people flying. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it really is that great. What's that? Is it starting? No, that's just someone sweeping the road before the carnival comes. Oh, it actually sounds quite good. They're using brushes and dustbins to make music. <laughs> the carnival has begun. Here is Mr. Bull and his fancy jazz band. It is Mr. Pony, the optician. Hello. Look, Pedro's on the lorry. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Pedro. Hello. <laughs> I wish I was in the carnival. Me too. It is Captain Dog and Danny Dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! It's Miss Rabbit's rescue service. But where's Miss Rabbit? Miss Rabbit is the carnival queen. Ooh. 
She's not doing much, is she? Well, that makes a change from all the jobs Miss Rabbit normally does. She's probably quite happy to put her feet up. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Mr Potato. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr Potato! Mr Potato has a big balloon tied to the back of his car. Wow! That must be the biggest balloon in the world. Up, down, up, down, all together now. Mr. Potato is coming to town. <gasps> oh, no! The string has come loose. Ah, my balloon! <laughs> it's OK. I've caught it. <laughs> oh, I'm flying away. Help! We have to call the rescue service. <laughs> Rescue service. Mr. Potato's hanging from a balloon. Help! Help! I'll be right there. Wait a moment. I can't go and rescue with all this on. Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me! 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 me. There you go. <laughs> I think I should be the queen because I am very good at being bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be the queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be queen? OK, I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye. Goodbye. Now, how can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon. Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait, wait! <laughs> Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr Potato. Thank you! Hooray! Now I can get back to being the Carnival Queen. Oh, oh, I think we've got three Carnival Queens now. <laughs> this is the best carnival ever! <laughs> Pepper loves carnivals. Everybody loves carnivals. Soft play. It is morning. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh, there's a letter here for George. <laughs> <laughs> it's an invitation to Richard Rabbit's party. Sounds fun. I'll take George to the party. As long as it's not at that awful soft play centre. It says soft play. Ah. Daddy doesn't like the soft play centre. Last time he got stuck and was rescued by a helicopter and a fire engine and a crane. It wasn't exactly like that, Pepper. It was only a helicopter. I think soft play sounds lovely. I will go with you, George. <laughs> <laughs> It is time for Richard Rabbit's party. Bye. I'll be back to pick you up later. You're very welcome to stay if you want. It's soft play, isn't it? No thanks. <laughs> Hello. You're very welcome to stay if you want. See you later. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. <coughs> I quite understand if you don't want to stay. No, I'll stay. Us grown-ups can have a nice, quiet chat while the children play. Oh, OK. <laughs> this is the Soft Play Centre, where everything is soft, so children can bounce, swing, squash, slide <laughs> and play. This is great. The children are having so much fun. Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end. <laughs> the little children have been playing all day. Home time, children. <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes. yes. 
Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> oh, my goodness! We're never going to get them out! There's only one thing for it! I'll have to go in! Good luck! Ooh. <sighs> ah! I'm stuck! Help! Don't worry! I'm coming in! I'm nearly there! Uh, oh no! I'm stuck too! Help! Hello! Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No! Don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> ah, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? Hi! We're, We're stuck. stuck! Ho, ho! That usually happens to me! That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy! Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello, rescue service. Oh, you're in here too. Yes, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. So there's no one to rescue us. We're here, Daddy. <laughs> we will rescue the grown-ups. That tickles. Hey! Thank you, Pepper and Susie, for rescuing us. Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Now we can all go home. <laughs> the little ones have gone back inside. Pepper, can you bring the little ones out now? Yes, Daddy. But we might have to play a bit first. <laughs> Pepper and Susie love the soft play centre. Everyone loves the soft play centre. Potato City. Pepper and her family are going to Potato City. What is Potato City, Mummy? It's a theme park, Pepper where the magic of vegetables never ends. It sounds a bit boring. It will be fun. Potato City, here we come. <laughs> here we are. The family have arrived at a field of potatoes. Is this Potato City? It must be. And it looks like we picked the right day to visit. There are no crowds. Are you sure this is the right place, Daddy Pig? It just looks like a farmer's field to me. Excuse me, is this Potato City? No, that's Potato City. <laughs> it isn't quite what I was expecting. It's fantastic. How many tickets? Two adults and two children, please, Miss Rabbit. Busy, isn't it? Busy? No, this is quiet for Potato City. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Peppa's friends have come to Potato City too. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. And this is Mr. Potato himself. Welcome to Potato City, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh. See how vegetables grow. Learn how they keep us fit and healthy. And get shot into space by the Potato Rocket. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are going to ride on the Potato Rocket. George wants to ride on the potato rocket, too. Are you sure, George? It looks a bit high. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Moo! Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Oh, I'm not getting on. George is too small to go on his own. Oh, OK. Make it quick. Oh, it's very quick. <laughs> George has changed his mind. Oh, dear, George. <coughs> Come to Mummy. Maybe I'll just get off, too. George, away! Have fun, Daddy.
Daddy Pig. Uh... Oh, it stopped. Well, I'm glad that's all over. Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Mummy, what's that? Go round and put your head through that hole. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you're a tomato. Look, I'm a carrot. Oh, yes. And I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the dinosaur garden. Ooh. Say hello to my dinosaur friends. Uh, don't be frightened. They are not real. But this is exactly how they would have looked walking the earth together. No, it's not. What? Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. The Stegosaurus was Jurassic. They would not have walked together. How do you know that? I'm a clever clogs. Anyway, who wants to ride one? Me, me. Why have you got dinosaurs in Potato City? Uh, because dinosaurs ate potatoes? No. Anyway, children like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! Dinosaur. <laughs> roll up, roll up for the vegetable roundabout swing thing. A vegetable roundabout swing thing. <laughs> I like Potato City because it teaches you about vegetables and swings you round and round. <laughs> Potato City, where the magic of vegetables never ends. <laughs> Sports Day. Today is the school sports day. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are all here. The first event is running. <laughs> the children have to run as fast as they can. I think I will win. I can run very fast. <laughs> I'm faster than you. Ready, steady, go. I can run at a hundred miles an hour. I can run at a million miles an hour. Peppa, Susie, stop talking and run. Oh. Rebecca Rabbit is in the lead. Oh dear, Peppa and Susie are right at the back. Come on, Peppa! Come on, Danny! Rebecca Rabbit wins. <laughs> and Peppa and Susie are last. The winner of the race is Rebecca Rabbit. Hooray! Great, thank you. <laughs> I would have won if you hadn't been talking to me, Susie. Now, now, Peppa. Remember, it's not winning that matters, but taking part. Yes, Daddy. The next event is the long jump. <laughs> George and Richard have to see who can jump the furthest. George, run as fast as you can, then jump as far as you can. George, ready, steady, go! <laughs> George has jumped as far as he can. And now it's Richard Rabbit's turn. <laughs> if Richard doesn't run, he won't jump very far. Richard Rabbit, ready, steady, go! <laughs> Richard Rabbit has jumped further than George. And the winner is Richard Rabbit. Hooray! <laughs> George, remember, it's not the winning that matters, but taking part. <laughs> the next race is the relay. Each child needs to pick a parent to race with. Peppa, pick me! Pick me! But, Daddy, you're not very good at running. I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> All right, Daddy. But you must run very fast. <laughs> the mummies and daddies will run the first part of the race and then hand the batons to the children. Mummies and daddies. 
Ready, steady, go. Run, Daddy! Daddy Pig is in the lead. Now it's my turn to Pepper, do... stop talking and run! Oh! <laughs> Keep on running! running. Keep on running! Go on! And the winner is Emily Elephant. Hooray! <laughs> oh, Daddy, I haven't won a prize yet. Don't worry, Pepper. There's still one more event. And now for the last event of the day, the tug of war. Boys against girls. <laughs> when I say go, you must pull the rope with all your strength. The girls will win. <laughs> no, they won't. The boys will win. Ready, steady, go. Come, Come on, boys. boys. Come on, pull. Come, Come on, the girls. girls. Everyone is pulling so hard, the rope is breaking. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and the result is a draw. So both teams win. Hooray! I love the school sports day, especially when I win a prize. <laughs> the children! Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Mr. Bull is checking the school roof. Moo! Who put this roof on for you? Uh, you did, Mr. Bull. Lovely job. It will last you a lifetime. But it is leaking water. Look, it is going drippity drip. You need a new roof. Oh, dear. Where are we going to get the money for a new school roof? We can do a school fate to get the money. Good idea, Danny. But who would run it? We can. Yes, the children can do it. <laughs> I can do the face painting. I can do the microphone. <laughs> we can have a mummy's and daddy's race. And I can sell balloons. Yes, we will have a children's fate. Hooray! It is the day of the children's fate. All the grown-ups are here. Hello, grown-ups! Danny Dog is in charge of the microphone. Get your money out for the new school roof! Emily Elephant is in charge of the bric-a-brac stall. Roll up! Roll up! All sorts of bits and bobs! What a lot of bric-a-brac, Emily! You will be busy all day selling it. Here is Mr Fox. Mmm! This all looks very interesting. Balloons! Lovely balloons! Would you like a balloon, Madame Gazelle? May I have a red one? How much is it? How much have you got? Oh, of course! We are raising money for the school roof. Look, Madame Gazelle, I've got rid of everything. Wonderful, Emily! How much money have you raised? Money? Did you not get some money for the bits and bobs? I didn't need to. Mr Fox took it away for nothing. <laughs> Get your face painted here. Susie Sheep is in charge of the face painting stall. Hello, Susie. Can I be a mountain leopard, please? No, I can only do fruit. OK. Can I be... A plum! There. Pepper is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Moo! Hello, Pepper. Hello, Mr. Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh, would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr. Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs. Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr. Bull and Mrs. Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. 
Freddy Fox is in charge of the Mummies and Daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> it's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there. <laughs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh. And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Oh. Come on, Daddy! Oh. Come on, Daddy! Oh. Come on, Daddy. Oh. Keep Daddy. going, Daddy! Oh. Come on, Mummy! Oh. And my Mummy is the winner! Oh. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Yes! yes. Lots, Lots of, of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> fun fair. Today, Pepper and her family have come to the fun fair. <laughs> I love the fun fair. <laughs> slidey, slidey! George wants to go on the helter skelter. <laughs> okay, see you later. See you later. Roll up, roll up. Hook a duck and win a giant teddy. Mummy, can we have a go? Okay. One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. Win the giant teddy, Mummy. I'll try, Pepper, but I don't think it's that easy. You're right. You've got no chance. What? It's impossible. Waste of money, if you ask me. We'll see about that. <coughs> mummy Pig has won. Hooray! That's amazing. Here's your giant teddy. Wouldn't you like a little teddy instead, Pepper? No way, Jose. <laughs> Look, Mummy, a giant teddy. It's a bit big. No, it's not. George and Daddy Pig are queuing for the Helter Skelter. Hmm, it's a bit high, George. Are you sure you want to have a go? <laughs> <laughs> One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. <laughs> 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 oh dear, it is a bit too high for George. Don't worry, George. I'll come up with you. That's one pound, please. Oh. <laughs> George isn't afraid of heights anymore. Oh, it is a bit high, isn't it? I'll just go down the stairs. The stairs are full of children. That's the way down, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Hit the target and win a giant teddy. You can do that easy, Mummy. We don't want to win another giant teddy, Pepper. Don't worry. You won't win. Women are useless at this. I'm sorry, what did you say? It's a game of skill. How much for one go? One pound. <laughs> Mummy Pig has won. Unbelievable. Here's your giant teddy. Hooray! I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. They're too big. No, they're not. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. Hold tight now. Oh, that really is high. <laughs> Phew, I'm glad that's over. Five times round for one pound. Five times round? Oh, no. Whoa! Test your strength on the old hammer and bell. What do we have to do? You hit this button with this hammer. If the bell rings, you win a prize. <laughs> no skill involved, but you need to be strong. I'll have a go. One pound. Bad luck. 
Ho, ho! I'm strong. I'll have a go. Stand back, everyone. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. You're not that fit. Oh, oh, yes, Daddy Pig is looking a bit tubby. What? I'm just saying Daddy Pig is a bit round in the tummy. Give me that hammer. Goodness me. I've never seen anything like it. That wins all the giant teddies we have. Hooray! Mummy, can we give these teddies to my friends? What a good idea. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. Peppa. Most kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> my birthday party. It is Peppa's birthday. It is very early in the morning. It's my birthday. <laughs> George, wake up. It's my birthday. <sighs> I'm going to have a party. <coughs> and Daddy is doing a magic show. <coughs> Quick, George, let's wake Mummy and Daddy up. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still fast asleep. Wake up. It's my birthday. Wake up. <sighs> what time is it? It's very late. It's five o'clock in the morning. Yes, the whole day is going. <laughs> OK, let's get your birthday started. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and George are giving Peppa her birthday present. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Peppa. Peppa. Ooh. What is it? <laughs> A doll's dress. I can put it on Teddy. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome, Peppa. I didn't know Teddy was a girl, Teddy. Oh, Daddy. Of course Teddy's a girl. I love my new dress. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome, Teddy. Don't get it dirty. Do you know what's happening next, Peppa? Yes. My friends are coming for my birthday party. And Daddy's doing a magic show. <laughs> no one will know the magician is your Daddy. You will introduce me as the Amazing Mysterio. The Amazing Mysterio. Yes, the Amazing Mysterio. Daddy's been practising his magic tricks all week. My friends are here. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> Nay. Come on, children. The party is starting. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to do a magic show. Peppa, remember what you have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the amazing Mysterio. OK, Daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's Magic Daddy! Hooray! For my first trick, Abracadabra! <gasps> wow! It's Teddy! For my next trick, I need a helper from the audience. Me! 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 me. <laughs> I just need one. Young lady, you put your hand up first. Can you tell the audience your name? <laughs> Susie Sheep. OK, Susie, here are three balls. A red one, a blue one and a yellow one. OK. You have to secretly choose one while my back is turned. OK. Have you chosen one? Yes. Abracadabra! You chose yellow. No. Uh, abracadabra, blue. No. Abracadabra, red. Yes, it is red. Hooray! <laughs> Silly magic, Daddy. You said all three colours. Shush, Peppa, don't tell anyone. <laughs> 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 Would you like one more trick? Yes, please. Ooh. Close your eyes. No looking. Say the magic words, abracadabra. Abracadabra! 
Open your eyes. Ooh. Hooray! My banana birthday cake. Blow the candles out, Pepper. <gasps> Thank you, everyone. This is my best birthday ever. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Pepper. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. Good night, my little piggies. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come for dinner. Hello. Hello. Where are Pepper and George? They're asleep. Oh, but I so wanted to see them. Can I take a peek? OK, Granny Pig, but be very quiet. <laughs> Granny Pig! Tangy Ig! Hello, my little darlings. You should be asleep. Tell us a story. OK, but only if you promise to go straight back to sleep. We'll go to sleep after the story. All right. Once upon a time, there was... A little boy called Pedro Pony, and he found a magic bean. Oh, yes. Now, Pedro planted that bean, and it grew into an enormous beanstalk that went high into the sky. That's right. Pedro climbed to the top of that beanstalk and found a... A horrible big giant. But I don't want that. I want a princess. Oh, yes. There he found a beautiful Princess Pepper <laughs> and Sir George, the brave knight. <laughs> and a cook who makes the most delicious food ever. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Grandpa Pig are waiting to eat dinner. I'll go and see what's keeping Granny Pig. What's next in the story? Naughty Granny Pig, you woke the little ones. He promised to sleep. When the story ends, Grandpa. I'm good at ending stories, Granny Pig. You go downstairs. I won't be long. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, and a cook who makes a lovely dinner. Well, after they ate the lovely dinner, everyone fell asleep. The end. Then they all woke up. And along came a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. We're going to do a big magic show. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. <laughs> that bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Ah, a scary chicken! <laughs> Pepper, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> OK. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, a cook, a wizard and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party. And all their friends came. <laughs> 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 right, I think I'd better sort this out. <laughs> Daddy Pig. They're almost asleep. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take over now. You have to finish the story, Mummy. All right, quickly now. Tell me what's happened. Once upon a time, in olden days, a long time ago, Mummy Pig's been up there for a long time. I can hear snoring. At last, Pepper and George are asleep. And then they all lived happily ever after. The end. Pepper? George? Shush! Mummy is asleep. <laughs> it looks like Princess Pepper is the best at telling bedtime stories. That's right. I am. <laughs> Dressing up. <laughs>
<laughs> Peppa and George are playing in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. <laughs> What's this? Peppa has found a box of old clothes. Wow! <laughs> this is Daddy's hat. And this is Mummy's dress. George, let's dress up and pretend to be Mummy and Daddy. <laughs> here is Daddy's hat. <laughs> And who is Daddy's coat? <laughs> Hello, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my turn. <laughs> this is Mummy's dress. <laughs> this is Mummy's hat. <laughs> Daddy Pig, where are your shoes? <laughs> Some shoes too. <laughs> now I need to look beautiful, just like Mummy. Peppa has found Mummy's makeup box. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> For some powder. <laughs> Lovely. Now for some lipstick. What a pretty mummy pig. <laughs> Come along, Daddy Pig. It's time to go to work. <laughs> mummy Pig is working on her computer. <laughs> hello, Pepper. Hello, George. I beg your pardon. Pepper, I was just saying hello. I'm not Pepper Pig. I'm Mummy Pig. Oh, yes, of course. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello. <coughs> and this is Daddy Pig. George. <coughs> and hello to you too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I've got a lot of work to do. Hello. Yes. Do this, do that. No, thank you. Goodbye. <coughs> Peppa is enjoying <laughs> pretending to be Mummy Pig. But George is getting a bit bored. Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm nearly finished. There. All done. Come on, Daddy Pig. It's time you did some work. Goodbye, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig is digging in the garden. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I'm not Pepper. I'm Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <coughs> Daddy Pig is here to do some work. That's very kind of you, Daddy Pig. <coughs> now be careful. It's a very deep hole. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you are not digging in your best clothes, Daddy Pig. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> I want to make big snorts too. <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream, everyone. Ice cream? Pepper, George, you must take off those muddy clothes before you eat. I'm Mummy Pig and this is Daddy Pig. Are you sure? Yes. So, where are Pepper and George? We don't know. Oh, well, that's a shame, because I've got their favourite ice cream here. But if we can't find them, then... Here we are! Pepper? <laughs> George? There you are! Yes, Mummy. We were just pretending to be you and Daddy. <laughs> you really had us fooled. Mummy Pig's birthday. Today is Mummy Pig's birthday. Daddy Pig has made Mummy Pig breakfast in bed. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Pepper and George have made Mummy Pig a birthday card. Happy birthday, Mummy. <laughs> oh, what a lovely birthday surprise. And there are more surprises to come. Enjoy your birthday breakfast. Take your time. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> yummy.
Quick, we have to get everything else ready. Daddy Pig has made a birthday cake for Mummy Pig. We've just got to put the candles on. <laughs> One, two... Here I come. Mummy Pig has finished her birthday breakfast. Mummy's coming. Oh, no. We're not ready yet. Uh, who is it? It's Mummy. Can I come in? No, no! <laughs> is there something secret going on? Uh, no. Nothing's going on. <laughs> but you can't come in. I see. <laughs> Mummy Pig, why don't you relax in the sitting room? That sounds nice. Well, it is your birthday. <laughs> OK, Peppa. I think I know what the sitting room is. <laughs> here's a nice magazine. Thank you, Peppa. And here's some pretty music. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> we need the same number of candles as Mummy's age. One, two, three... Oh, dear. We haven't got nearly enough candles. Daddy, how old is Mummy? I'll whisper it in your ear. Wow! Really old. <laughs> you know, I think three candles will be fine. Mummy Pig's birthday cake is ready. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> we just have to put up the decorations in the sitting room. <sighs> Mummy. Oh, there you all are. I was getting a little bored. Mummy, would you like to have a nice walk in the garden? <laughs> Do I have any choice? Nope. <laughs> Bye-bye, Mummy. Have a lovely walk. We'll call you when it's safe to come back in. I've forgotten what hard work birthdays were. <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and George are decorating the sitting room. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have arrived for Mummy Pig's birthday. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Aren't you coming inside? Oh, I can't come in yet. Daddy Pig, Peppa and George are doing secret things for my birthday. How lovely. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> Mummy! Would you like to come inside now? I'd love to. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed, Mummy. <laughs> One, two, three. Open your eyes. Yay! Happy you birthday, Mummy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely surprise. Blow the candles out and make a wish. <laughs> Mummy, Mummy, open your present. Can you guess what it is? I've no idea. Open it and see. It's a beautiful dress. Oh. You're beautiful, Mummy. <laughs> now you just need somewhere nice to wear it. What's this? Two tickets to the theatre. Tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves going to the theatre. And Granny Pig and I are going to babysit the little ones. Hooray! <laughs> what a super birthday. I'm the luckiest mummy in the whole world. And the most beautiful. Pepper and Susie Sheep are playing Snap. Snap! I win! <laughs> Pepper and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Snap! I win again! <laughs> you cheated! I did not! You looked at the card! I did not! I don't want to play with you anymore! <laughs> I don't want to play with you anymore! <laughs> Oh, dear. Peppa and Susie have had a quarrel. <coughs> Mummy Sheep is here to take Susie home. Peppa, say bye-bye to Susie. I am not talking to her, and I'm not talking to her. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure they'll make it up. They are best friends, really. It is not 
funny. We are not best friends anymore. Daddy Pig is making supper. Peppa, George, supper time. It's spaghetti. <laughs> What's the matter, Peppa? Peppa and Susie have had a little quarrel. Oh. But I do miss Susie a bit. Hmm. Let's give Susie a call. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Pig. <coughs> May Peppa talk with Susie, please? Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. We can be friends again, if you say sorry. I'm sorry I said you cheated. Even though you did cheat. Well, I'm sorry you were ever my best friend. Oh. It doesn't matter. I can easily find a new best friend. It is a lovely sunny day. All the children are at the playground. Danny Dog is on the roundabout with his best friend, Pedro Pony. George is on the seesaw with his best friend, Richard Rabbit. <laughs> Susie Sheep is on the swings, on her own. <sighs> Peppa is playing mini golf, on her own. <sighs> Here is Emily Elephant. Can I have a go? Yes! <laughs> Emily, Susie Sheep is not my best friend anymore. <sighs> so you can be my best friend. But my best friend is Candy Cat. Oh. Meow. <laughs> you want, you can be my best friend. But my best friend is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Ah, oh, good. I see you two are friends again. We are not friends. We will never be friends again. Hmm. I think it's about time you two made it up. Peppa, say sorry to Susie. Only if she says sorry for First. Only if she says sorry first. I know. I'll count to three and you can both say sorry at the same time. All right. One, two, three. Sorry. Now you can be best friends again. Hooray! <laughs> Susie, let's play mini golf. Good idea. Peppa and Susie are best friends again. Me first. My go. My ball went in the hole, so I win. But my ball knocked it in, so I win. You're just making the rules up. You are making the rules up. I win. No, I win. <laughs> you two are just the same. <laughs> That's why Susie's my best friend in the whole world. <laughs> and Peppa is my best friend in the whole world ever. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.